gold medal match that everybody has been waiting for. Gino Petriasvili, Georgia Taha Ghoul, Turkey. And 10 seconds in, the referee steps in. Petrius Vili, three consecutive world championships in 17, 18, and 19. He was a second away from winning an Olympic gold. Gable Steveson of the United States knocked him off in the Tokyo final. The continent of Europe has belonged to Taha Ghul. When you look at his accolades, eight European championship gold medals. Coming back from a shoulder surgery that sidelined him for a while in 2020. Won the Rio Olympic gold in 2016. Brought home the bronze in the recent Tokyo Games. Two Hall of Famers colliding here in Budapest. And I had an opportunity to sit down with Geno two days ago. Had a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with him, and it was a tough conversation. But I asked him what was his mindset like after the Olympic Games, and he opened up and said, Eric, to be honest with you, the last 20 seconds of that Olympic finals, I don't remember, I blacked out. 20 seconds left, I said to myself, you're an Olympic champion. I said my entire life, as Agul picks up a second takedown, he said, your entire life as a wrestler, you don't dream about having money. You don't dream about having cars or apartments or houses or going on nice vacations. You dream about one thing, and that's wearing an Olympic gold medal, and that dream came true. And for 20 seconds, I thought I was an Olympic champion. And then I woke up and I saw Gable celebrating. And from that second, wow. And then he said, I, I retired. And after that Olympic finals, I told my coaches I'm done. And they convinced me to come back for the Oslo World Championships. And then after I lost the Oslo World Championships, I retired again. First time, right. But when I came back for the Oslo World Championships, it was to forget about the Tokyo Olympic Games. And I still haven't forgot about it, so that's why I'm here, to try and win a European title to erase those memories from the Tokyo Olympic Games. And I don't know, even if he wins here, if that'll ever be erased from his mind. But he did say, Eric, I wasn't 10 seconds, I wasn't five seconds, I wasn't one second, I wasn't a half second. I was a quarter second away from achieving my dreams. Mm, the pain that these athletes go through, it, it's what makes winning so special. Right now, Agul has controlled the mat. Three step outs on Petrius Vili, straight on double for two more. And Taha Agul has everything clicking in this opening period, out to a 5 nothing lead. He's taking Matt, and now he gets the takedown. Taking territory on the mat, the straight on double, and a 5 nothing lead, all Turkey early on. 20 seconds to go, period number one. Starting to look like the world finals against Amir Zari, in the Islamic right, Republic of Iran, or mirroring their meeting in Bucharest at the 2018 European, 2019 European Championships. First period in the books and a five nothing lead for Taha Ghul. He said the key to beating Geno is to start by getting him tired and that starts with my collar tie. I have to control the mat area and control his head. Counter shot by Agul, trying to swivel around to the side. Big right arm of Petrius Vili trying to keep him at bay. Petrius Vili still down on one knee. Geno slowly rising to both feet. A little more activity though from Petrius Vili. He was the one who initiated. Five nothing to Agul. Comes right back at Petrius Vili, and he jumps over the top, and he will get his first takedown. Looks over at the Georgian corner, does not want to work parterre, goes back to the feet. Curious why he didn't want to work in parterre when you think back to the Tokyo Olympic Games against Gable Stevenson, it was those two turns from parterre, gut wrenches to be exact, how he changed the course of that match. That's where he's so good, but 
Taha is a big body and Geno knows he has two minutes of energy left in the tank and he's gonna use those on his feet. No fight, Blue, no fight. Petriashvili doing a much better job at taking ground in the second period. First period, he would have continued to backpedal a little bit. That time, he dug his heels in deep. Did not let Taha steer him near the edge. Halfway through this final period, a ghoul with a 5-2 lead. Shot is smothered effectively. The hips, the sprawl back action by Taha Ghoul. Has the forehead completely buried into the mat, and we go to a restart. Geno got deep on that right leg. Just could not get his hands locked. Went from a single to a double. Tried to get in on the right leg. Agul able to corral him off. Now he switches back to the opposite side. He's in on that head to the outside shot. He's gonna elevate that leg. Agul trying to reach over the top with a grip. Petrius Vili still in good scoring position, switches to a double, doesn't have it yet, 42 Watch seconds to go. Oh. How about the defense from Agul? Now if he can clear out his left leg, keep circling, but the official jumps in. Petrius Vili finishes okay. on pretty much any wrestler on the planet but Agul right there. He was so deep. It was beautiful, knee slide. Everything technically as perfect as it gets. And you're right, 99 out of 100 wrestlers he finishes on, but not this one. Petri Isvili knows he's running out of time. A look over at the clock, one more glance. Change of level, now Agul takes a look. Five seconds, four seconds, another championship, times nine for Turkey's Taha Gul.